Hi, kindergarten. Thank you for joining me this week. And this is our first math lesson. And the first thing I wanted to do was go over the answers to your quiz and make sure that we have all the right answers and we understand why we did certain things for certain problems. Okay, so we're gonna look at our very first problem where it has a list of all these numbers. And it says, circle the number 86. Well, I see 22. And this one has an eight and a six in it, but the six comes first, so it's 68, 35. Here's the 86, so we would circle that one. Then we have 53, so we would circle this one. Then it says, where well, we have to write the numbers, okay? Well, the first one it asks for is 76. So I heard the 70 and then our six, 76. Okay, the next one it asks for is 15. Now I didn't say 50, I said 15. So we need to put our one digit first and then our five, 15. When we hear that teen, it's got a 10 right here, a one digit right there, 15. Now our next one says 58. So now I heard 50. So now I can put my 50. Eight. Great job. The next one said the number 19. Oh, there's my teen again. 19. So I need my one digit and then my nine. 19. And then the last one is 32. So 30, like a three, th 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 tongue between my teeth. 32. There we go. Now, the next thing it asks us to do is it gives us a number, like the number 12. There's my beautiful 12. And it says, what number comes before it? What number comes after it? Okay. Well, if I'm counting 9, 10, 11, 12. So what did I say right before 12? 11, 12, 13. There's another teen, it's got that one digit. So you would have to write the 11 and then the 13. The next one it gave us is 65, 65. What comes before 65? What comes after 65? Well, I'm thinking about this number five. One, two, three, four, five. So four comes before five. So 64. 65, four, five, six, 66. Okay, can you see that? Great job, okay. And then our last one for this part had the number 28. What comes before that? What comes after it? Again, I'm thinking about that eight, six, seven, eight. So seven comes before eight. 27, 28, 29, okay? Now, the next part has us comparing numbers. Which one's greater, bigger, which one's smaller, okay, or less than? So if we have the numbers 36 and 63, well, they both have a three and a six digit, but it matters where they are, 36. So 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 50, 60. 60 is bigger. We have to keep counting to get to 63. So the alligator is going to eat 63. Okay, 63 is greater than 36. It's bigger. Okay, let's try a different one. How about 52 and 29? Well, I see a nine, nine seems pretty big to me. But remember, we have to think about our, our tens. We're counting by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We got to 50 after 20. And then 51, 52. So 52 is greater than, the alligator's gonna eat 52. It's much bigger than 29. All right, and now let's do 81 and 83. Well, they're both in the 80s, 
So when I'm counting 80, 81, 82, 83. So which one is greater? Which one did we have to keep counting and get to? It has more. 83 is greater than 81. Okay, great job. And then we had a couple of word problems, stories. You guys have been working on those and you're doing such a great job. So let's hear the first story. It says, Mrs. Cocalis has six pencils. She buys two more. How many pencils does she have now? Well, when we're writing our equation, we start with six. And it said I got more. So are we adding or subtracting? I got more. It's going to get bigger. So we're adding six and two more equals, well, now we have to solve it. So you can either draw a picture, six and two, so that's six, seven, eight. You can use your number line. You can use your fingers, right? I have six and I got two more, one, two. So now I have eight. Whatever strategy works for you, six plus two. So now Mrs. Kokalas has eight pencils. Okay, let's look at our next word problem or story. It says the clown has 10 balloons. It's a lot of balloons. Okay, so he has 10 balloons, but three of the balloons pop. How many balloons are left? Hmm. So we started with 10 balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But then three of them popped, pop, pop, pop. So they went away. If we're taking something away and our number is getting smaller, are we adding or subtracting? Right? We're subtracting. So we took away three balloons. Goodbye, balloons. Cheers. Now how many are left that are still, that are not popped? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or if you're using your number line, you can hop backwards three times. Okay, if I have my fingers, I have 10 fingers, I'm gonna take three of them away. One, two, three. So how many are left? Seven. Okay, good job. And the last thing that you did on your quiz is you had a domino with all the dots. And your domino had two sides. On one side it had one, two, three, four, five, six dots. And on the other side it had one, two, three, four dots. So we have six on this side and four on that side. How many do we have all together? Let's say our big number, six, and let's keep counting. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten all together as the mommy number, right? So let's write our equations. We're putting those two together, so we're going to add them. Six plus four equals boom, 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 ten. Then what's the turnaround fact? Bing. Four plus six equals 10. Okay, great job. Hmm. Now I want to do subtraction. If I'm doing subtraction, which number do I have to start with? I have to start with all of the dots. What's my biggest number? 10. And then we're going to take away one of the sides. So minus, because we're taking away one side. So let's take away the six, minus six, equals well, what's left? The other side, four. Now let's do subtraction again, but this time let's take away the other side. Bing! So we're gonna take away the four. Well, how many are left now? Yeah, now there are six left. And that is our fact family. We use the same members of the family, six, four, and 10 for every equation. Six, four, 10. Six, four, 10. 6, 4, 10, 6, 4, 10. We just moved them around. They're the same members of the family. And here are our math facts. You're doing a really good job. And don't worry if this was really hard for you, we've just started it, right? So we're gonna keep practicing and we're gonna keep learning and don't worry. We just haven't figured it out yet. Or maybe you have figured it out, awesome, okay? You're doing a great job, I'm really proud of you, bye.